Okay, Addis Maximus here. This time with a quick review of the General Tools 8071. This is just a little compact bit driver ratchet. Well, one of the early ones. They're actually still selling this. I believe it's still made in the United States. This one, as we can tell, has been sitting around for a while. Found this at a thrift store. Some tools somebody bought and <laughs> never used. They want about 10 bucks online for these things. Or for this thing, I should say. And that's all it is. It's just a little five piece stamp sheet metal ratchet. It is reversible. Actually quite a bit of back drag, which is a little bit disappointing for a compact ratchet. You'd expect it to be pretty easy to turn. But as a matter of fact, it's not very easy to turn at all. So that's a little disappointing. What makes it double disappointing is the knurling on the end of the, these are real specialized bits for this particular one. See, they have an integrated ball detent. They push through. This knurling is supposed to be for you to use it as a thumb spinner or a finger spinner, but it is so stiff that I could, it's basically impossible to use it for that purpose. Shame on you, General Tools. Maybe they made the springs a little bit tighter. Same thing, both directions. Anyway, that's all of this is, and they came out with this thing. I think they've probably been making this thing for half a century. I mean, a real, real long time. On the other bits that don't have a shelf, you can see they put little, uh, yeah, they stamp little wings onto it so it doesn't push all the way through. So, kind of a neat idea for a basic little bit driver. Unfortunately, this thing has just been totally superseded, and it's kind of a disappointment. I mean, I'm sure people uh, buy these just either out of nostalgia or they are these are like sold at true value and a variety of other places and so people think it's a neat little bit driver but it is fairly weak because it is just sheet metal and you got to use these real specialized bits and that's probably the biggest disappointment you use any regular bit and it, the driver's totally useless and so that's what's kind of disappointing we'll put in the number two Phillips the other disappointing fact, besides you can't use the darn thumb wheel, is its size compared to anything more modern. Excuse me. Here's this Craftsman I reviewed a while ago. We can see it's much better, much lower back drag. I'm sure it has a stronger mechanism. It's overall stronger, even though I'm not fond of Craftsman anymore. The other thing we can look at is, my goodness, I mean... This General Tools one, the driver is pretty darn small, but because of the specialized bits, they make it huge. So it's not even <laughs> it's not even really a compact driver compared to modern tools. Essentially, it's outdated, and quite frankly, they should stop selling it. That's just all there is to it. High back drag, you have to use real specialized bits, which are basically order only. And the fact that it's not even as strong as what more modern units are. Anyway, <laughs> I saw this and have probably seen these things just a million times over the years and finally found one use, so decided to make a video about it. Save yourself some trouble. Get a different type of bit driver than one of these little general tools ones. It's at least this uh, Model 8071. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.